Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, July the 15th, 2016. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to talk about some seller malfeasance on eBay, or what I would call seller malfeasance, and I'd like to get your opinion on that. And we're going to talk about the other normal topics such as returns, cancellations, item not received cases open, and some other interesting things that I think you guys will find helpful, everything being eBay related. For those of you guys who are here for the first time, my name is Joe DeMarco. I'm a top rated seller on eBay. I've been on eBay since 1999. My eBay store is called Hubcap Joe's and I have 100% feedback. I've been making these videos since 2007 to try and help people sell on eBay and overcome any troubles or obstacles they may encounter. That being said, let's get started with this week's video. I read all your comments last week and I'll address a few of them first. There was one person who wrote in and asked me what I plan on doing, if anything, when I hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm close, but I'm not there yet. I would like to do a special video when that time comes, if I have sufficient time. I really want to do something when I hit 10,000 subs and, you know, do a little bit of a retrospective and I think it would really be cool and hopefully you'll enjoy it. But these kind of retrospective videos take a lot of time to edit and put together. So again, we'll see what happens when it happens, okay? Also. We talked last week about, you know, usual returns and I have not received cases. And guys, do you know, I have had another item not received case open against me. I have never, never in all my years on eBay, 17 years, had as many item not received cases as in this one year alone. And like always guys, when I got the case, I didn't get all nervous. First, I checked to see that the tracking number was uploaded correctly and that the delivery confirmation showed it was delivered to the buyer's house, which it did. No big deal. I called eBay. They verified that it was delivered. Bang! They closed out the case. End of problem. This seems to be an increasing problem. Well, I would like, I don't know if it can be done, but I would like to see eBay institute something that a person cannot open an item not received case if the tracking actually shows delivered to their house. I don't know how they would go about that from a code slinging angle. Maybe some of you could jump in, but that's one little improvement I would like to see, and I'll mention it to them in the near future. But other than that, really no complaints. As I have said in many videos in the past, if there's going to be any problems for me at all, it's always going to be on a Friday night. And one thing I haven't said, it's usually in the middle of the night, as you can see on the whiteboard, the witching hour at 3 a.m. Guys, it's, it's phenomenal. I'll go to bed on a Friday night with no, no issues whatsoever, but on Saturday morning when I wake up, that's when I'm going to see either an item not received case or a return requested. It's just, you know, you can set your watch by it. All week long, no issues whatsoever. But if anything's going to happen, it's going to be very late on a Friday night. I also had a very weird, not very weird, but another return. I have no problem taking returns, but the one thing I would really like to see and insist on is buyers doing returns through the eBay system. In other words, when they get the item, they click return and then they choose like, you know, wrong size, item doesn't fit, change mind, whatever. So last Friday, yes guys, I'm not lying to you, I got another return 
in the middle of the night. But what makes this different is, do you ever sell anything and when you see the order come in, you have the gut feeling that the person's gonna return it? Well, that's what happened to me. So I sold this cap and it's something that never sells. There's plenty of cars around like this. There's no shortage of them. But it's one of those things that people just never buy, what we call a dog item. So I sold one the other day, and I said, this is going to come back or cancel, one or the other, and I'll bet anything. So the guy made the purchase around noontime. No way in hell was I going to ship that out and print that label. No way. Okay? I waited till about 10 o'clock at night. I mean, Christ. 10 hours. If he's going to cancel, he should have done it by now. So, bang. I print the label. I hold my breath. See if there's any cancellation or any contact going to come in. Nothing. Okay? I wait till the next day, the following day. Get up in the morning. Nothing. So far, so good. I go to the post office. They scan it in. Bzz, I swear to God, it didn't take 10 minutes for the person to contact me through eBay and say just two words to me. No, not those two. They said to me, return item. Keep in mind, they don't have the item. They didn't open a return request. They just wrote to me through the contact system, return item, which is not the way to do it. So anyway, I replied with two words of my own. Already shipped. Three days go by. They get the item. Again, instead of opening a return request, which could have expedited the process and protected them, protected them, they contact me through the eBay contact system with two words, return item. So, I wrote back to them and I said, I accept returns, no problem. Just send me the item back and be sure to tell me the USPS tracking number. Type it in for your own protection. Never heard a word back from them. I expect to get the item back today or tomorrow. So today, Friday or tomorrow, Saturday. In which case, I'll just cancel the transaction saying buyer requested the cancel and I'm covered. My point is, this is a very good example of a buyer not following the rules. I really wish eBay was a little tighter on that. Again, it's for their protection, not for mine. All right? I'll take the return either way. But still, I thought that was quite weird. I think I had my normal three returns this week. So that's normal cancellations. I've had one or two. Okay. I would like to now switch the topic of conversation to something that really upset me. And I'm going to relate it to you. And I want to get your opinion on this. This is something that happened to me as a buyer, not as a seller. In my 17 years on eBay, it's only happened to me maybe two or three times. And coincidentally, it happened to somebody on Facebook, one of my friends the other night, and they started a thread about it, and a lot of people weighed in heavily, and I want you guys to weigh in now. So here's what happened. Guy was selling an item. Let's just say it was $50 plus $15 shipping. It was in an auction format. I waited for the last possible second and sniped it, all right, and got it for a good price because I know I can flip the item. Paid right away with PayPal. Three days go by, I don't hear anything. He doesn't upload any tracking information, nothing. Finally, the night of the third day, he writes to me and says, listen, I only charge you $15 shipping, and I realize this is going to cost $21 shipping. I want you to send me $6 to my PayPal account. He said this to the eBay contact system. OK, 
Okay guys, what would you do? I want your gut feeling below. What would you do in that situation? And has it happened to you already? And I'll tell you how I feel. And don't be biased when you hear my opinion. You comment what you would do, I wanna know. So anyway, personally, I feel that's dead wrong. We had a contract, $50 plus $15 shipping, and he needs to honor that. And there's no way I'm sending him $6, okay? When I was new on eBay, back in 99, even 2000, I lost money on shipping many times. More than I can think. And you know whose fault that was? It was my fault. You know who paid the extra shipping? I did. I would never, ever ask one of my customers to pay extra shipping after the deal was made. I think it's wrong. And I think it stinks. And I'm not paying that $6. I still don't have a tracking number. I don't know if he's gonna send me this thing or not. All right? But I do foresee a problem. So, has it ever happened to you guys over your years on eBay? If so, let's talk about that below. I think that'll be a real interesting topic of conversation. You know guys, to me, that smells like a fitchy deal. That's just my opinion, okay? Fair is fair and right is right. A contract was made, he needs to honor his contract. Okay, other than that, let's move on to the next topic of how busy were you this week? This week, I noticed a big slowdown in sales. I wasn't shut out, I made sales every day, but there was one point that it was getting to be like 20 straight hours without a sale, which is very unusual for me. But like I said, I did make at least two or three sales every day, but that is pittance to what I've been doing, because I've been doing really good. I am currently running a 10% off sale using Markdown Manager, and that usually brings some buyers in, but even that isn't really doing what it normally does. My personal feeling is this month, July, and next month, August, will be slow because everyone's going away for the summer, all right? At some point, everyone's gonna go away for at least one or two weeks, right? Well, most people. So. I think that will have a negative effect on all our sales. And that's something that it's just par for the course. It happens every year. It's something we deal with, okay? It's not a big problem. It's just a necessary evil, okay? Do any of you guys have any questions or concerns on any of the topics we talked about today? If so, you may comment them below, or if you have a topic that I did not cover today, comment that below. Guys, some very important facts before I do the review. And I'm telling you, this is important, so listen. Number one, I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thanks for watching. I'm very interested in your feeling on the seller that wants me to send him another $6. $6 isn't gonna make or break me. I'm not living in a one-room apartment. <laughs> but still, guys, it's the principle of the thing, all right? I would never do that to any of my buyers. That's why I'm a top-rated seller with 100% feedback and a 17-year eBay member. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are top-rated sellers as well, and you care enough about your buyers to do the same thing. But this is important to me. I want to get your your feelings on that issue so please comment on that or anything ebay related you want thanks for watching i will see you next week next friday we're going to talk more about ebay open 2016 next friday because it'll be closer then if any of you guys want to go to the website ebayopen2016.com if you want to register for the event guys time's drawing close thanks for watching i'm out of here make some good ebay sales this week Peace! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I forgot one thing. One thing.
I'm thirsty. Yeah.